What's up and welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you an insanely fast way how to take any photo that you can find, whether one that you've taken yourself or one online and turn them into really awesome textures that you can use in your projects in Adobe Photoshop. Before we get started, I just wanna encourage you, I was thinking a little bit today about humility and how we live in a culture where everyone's trying to promote themselves and make everyone think like, look at how great I am, look at how awesome I am. That's kind of the whole point of social media. Um, and I just wanna say that I feel like something I'm learning is that people who are humble are the ones that actually do well. <laughs> like they're the ones that people are drawn to, that I'm drawn to. And so just wanna encourage you, if you are getting a little bit of a big head, just remember that you're not the biggest fish in the sea. You know, you're just one person. And, uh, and I think we can all grow in being a little more humble and thankful and I think it'll just make us better people. So that's your encouragement. Let's get into the video. All right, so here we are in Photoshop. I have brought in this texture photo that I got from Unsplash. I'll link it in the description below in case you want to download it as well. I don't own the photo, but Unsplash is a great place to find cool textures. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to take this image and to create a texture from it that you can use on another image. So what we're gonna do before is we're actually gonna create something called an action. And actions are so awesome because they let you repeat the exact same process multiple times with one click of a button. It's incredible. So we're gonna do a new one here, create a new action, and we'll call it photo to texture. Great, and so now it's recording. And so anything that I do, any keystrokes, any um, actions that I do, anything that I do with my layers, it's gonna record all that and I can apply it to a different texture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create, um, I'm gonna use levels and I'm gonna adjust my levels here. And this will be different for each photo, so you know it'll vary. I'll actually go ahead and add all of my filters. So I'm gonna do levels, I'm gonna do brightness and contrast, and I'm going to do black and white. All right, so my brightness and contrast, we're gonna go bright, high contrast, maybe adjust this a little bit. This will probably be a little different depending on which one you do um, for, for different pictures and things. Okay, so I'm gonna bring these two in. This is basically trying to make it to where, what I'm trying to get to is I have um, mostly just darks and lights, and I wanna bring it down to where my texture is not so obvious. So like if you see, there's lots of little spots here. That's kind of what I'm going for. Looks pretty good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new layer. Great, and I'm gonna title this texture. And now over here in my channels panel, uh, I'm gonna click any of these really, when we're black and white, it doesn't matter which one. I'm gonna command click over on the this part right here. Sorry, that popped up all of my shortcuts. Um, command click and it'll select my white areas within this image. So now what I can do is I'll make sure that my text color is black and I am going to do command delete, which is going to color that in as black. Now what I'll do is I'll hide the rest of these and now I have a texture. I'm gonna go ahead and click the stop button here. So now it stops recording. And so if we were to say, delete all of these things and just have this again, what I can do is I can click play here. It'll go through that whole process and make a texture from scratch. So you can put any photo in here and it should work. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this into this other image I've pulled up, also from Unsplash. I can scale it down. And then at this point, what I could do is I could do my layer styles. I'm gonna do a color overlay, which is gonna color it. And I can pull one of these reds maybe one of the lighter ones. That's pretty neat. And then also if I wanna get a little crazy with it, I can add a mask. And then I'm just gonna kinda of make the texture go away when it's on top of the person. I'm not gonna to be too precise. There we go. But just enough to where it feels like it's kinda of behind him. You know, this isn't the most incredible thing that's ever been designed, but it's cool. And it's a great way to use texture in photos. So that's a really simple way. And the cool thing is this action will live here um, in any document that you open. And so find another image, find one on Unsplash, find one that you took yourself, and you should be able to apply this photo texture, um, photo to texture action, it'll work just the same. All right, so that's how you take texture and you use it in Adobe Photoshop. You can pull it from an image and use it any way you like. If you're curious about how to apply this texture on different things, I have another video coming out that's gonna be how to take these kind of textures and apply them to logos, which is something I get lots of questions about. How do you add texture to logos? So I've got two videos. One will be about how to do it in Photoshop and one will be about how to do an Illustrator and the pros and cons of each. So be on the lookout for that so you can use your new texture skills to do that for logos.